What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. So uh, every Friday is a technique lesson. Uh, so I thought I'd break down the solo, uh, this first main solo from the song Money by Pink Floyd. It's pretty much all blues licks. So uh, I think uh, we're going to have a good time. Also, I appreciate you going to martymusic.com. There's a bunch of free courses over there for you to check out. First comment can take you there, and I appreciate that uh, so much. Anyway, let's break this down. All right, so I've got uh, a King of Tone overdrive cranked up all the way. I've got uh, some delay and some reverb on this Strat here. It's not perfect, but uh, it gets the job done. So, all these licks are blues licks. It's the B minor pentatonic scale. It's all pretty much this uh, classic thing that I tell people to practice all the time. The B minor pentatonic extended scale. All right, so let's get to it. It uh, starts on a B power chord. So we're going to bend the ninth fret of the G string up a whole step, and then release to the seven on the G. So da 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 da. So, and you know, you can dig in to get some of that pick scraping sound, you know, on the other strings before you get to the G string. Nice vibrato on that seven of the G. Then we're gonna bend the tenth of the B up a whole step, which is bending up to the root. So from the top. Then we're going to play um, 7, 10 on the B. And then that same G lick, which is the whole step, 9, bend up, release to the 7. So from the top. So the next thing, we're going to slide up to the next little box of this B minor pentatonic, 12th fret with my ring finger, and then this little piece of the box, the 10, back to... So, then we're going to hit this note twice. These are all awesome blues licks, right? So we hit this one twice. Then we roll it over to the 12th of the high E, big arching bend. And we, you know, we bend it, it starts to come back down and we pull it off. So it's coming up, coming off, pulling off. The index is still down, so I can then grab ring finger on that 12th fret. And I hit it twice again. All right? Check it out from the top. Here it is slow. Next. So now what we're doing is we're back in this home row. Whole step bend on the nine of the G. Release to seven, then nine natural, no bend, so. And then it rolls over to the root, which is the ninth of the D. You 
Now it's going to go into another classic blues thing and classic Gilmore, which is the G string bend with uh, the ring and middle finger kind of together for strength. And then you grab the B of the seven and then the high E of the seven. Then the 10 of the B with the ring finger slid up a whole step in that other box position. Definitely want to be practicing this with the solo itself to you know get the feel and everything. Let me see how well you're matching up. But what we what we did there was we went. But then I kept going up the box, so I did 10 on the high E, and then 12 on the high E. So. So it's very similar to what we already did. You climb up, you get to that 12 of the high E, that bend, release, come off, and then hit it twice. And then there's a quick little comeback to the 10 on the high E. It's subtle. The other thing is he's playing the same solo uh, in two different takes. One's on the left, one's on the right. I'm mostly basing this on the solo on the right. They're the same solo, but they're just, some of the timing is off, you know, which adds a cool effect to it. Um, but just keep that in mind. There's actually this solo he played twice and it's not perfectly matched, but close enough to make it very cool. All right, from the top. <laughs> So now we have this great thing that I use all the time in my own kind of blues and improvising. It's just that kind of lots of feel going down that extended. So from this. So we just learned that. I haven't showed you beyond that. What we're gonna do, and this is definitely where the two solos are a little off in the timing, but they both do this. Um, 12th fret, bend. So that whole step bend and then 10, 12, natural. And then you got to roll that over. So use the deeper part of your ring finger so you can just roll it over. Now we're going to go down the pentatonic extended run here. So 10 with your index, ring finger on the 11 of the G to slide. So you're going. That way you're setting your finger up to now use the proper fingering for the next position. Down the pentatonic and then you're gonna slide on the nine of the A to the seven. You know, it's just down the thing.
ring finger is going to slide from seven to nine. Right after we hit that um, seven of the low E, we slide. And once again, this is where the two solos are a little off the timing. So it's harder to make out when you're hearing both of them. So nine, I'm sorry, seven to nine on the A. And then two times on that seven of the D. And then, so two times on the seven of the G. And then that root, which is nine of the D. So check it out. All right, from this part, sorry. So you can see they're variations of the same theme. So we just went. So once again, we go into this thing, the Gilmore Special, two for one today. So we're bending that nine, and then seven of the B, seven of the high E, 10 of the B, 10, 12. And it goes dun 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 dun. Then the ten of the high E. based on that same kind of theme. Uh. So we're almost there. Check it out. Um, <laughs> where was I? Actually, that was really fun. Um, all right. So we're going to move up to this BB box bend, bending the 14th fret up a whole step and then naturalizing, you know, going down natural and then going down the pentatonic until we bend the ninth fret of the G up a whole step. So you have this. 14th fret whole step bend. 
natural, 12, 10, 12, 10, 11, down a whole step bent up. Then we need this descending line. And so we're just going to do a whole step bend on the tenth of the B, then natural, then eight, seven, nine on the G, seven, six, five, and then we're going to switch back to the root here. Now we're grabbing the double stop of the 7th fret G and B, back to the root again, and then the double stop on the G and B of the 9th fret, classic blues stuff. And then it ends with that, which is the, you know, more blues stuff. It's the ring finger slid up to the 11th fret from the, you know, basically the middle fingers on nine of the B rings on 10 of the G and you slide it up a half step. So let's see here. From the top, slow. Thank you again for supporting me uh, by supporting Marty Music. Uh, thanks for subscribing if you haven't already uh, and sharing the videos. You can leave your requests in the comments below. Uh, and just hope to see you again. So take care. Uh.